The first thing that I'd like to say is that we don't want to collect on people. We don't want to repossess houses. We don't want to take anything back uh, simply because we all lose money in the process. But let me start and take you through the process. This, the first thing that happens if somebody goes into arrears, if they miss a payment, is we start um, essentially soft collections. We phone repeatedly until we get hold of a client and try and make an arrangement with the client to catch up the missed payments. So that could be over a period of time um, or it could be immediately. So some clients just forget to make a payment and we simply remind them. Other clients get into financial difficulty and then we have a, a process that we go through to try and help clients get back on track. This can take a couple of months um, and eventually if we if we can't find a way to help our clients pay back the loan, we start the legal process. Um, that takes place over a couple of steps and I'll go through them quickly. One of them is we send out a letter to remind clients that they have the option of debt counselling available to them. Um, and this is the last chance they really have to go to debt counselling um, in terms of the way the National Credit Act works. So we send out that letter. If that um, option isn't taken up by our clients, we issue a summons, which reminds a client that if they're not, if they don't do something, they will go to court and try and take out a judgment against the, the client. That judgment is the next step in the process, and that allows us to essentially attach the asset so that we can ask a sheriff to sell it on our behalf, so that we can get some of the money that's owed to us. Now it's quite a tough process for any client to go through. And we all stand to lose a lot of money. Typically at, a, at an auction we'll get sort of a, as little as half of what the client owes us. So we're left with a big loss and the client is left owing us that remaining money but typically has very little ability to pay it back. That's why they're in this situation in the first place. And for this reason we've spent quite a lot of time finding ways to avoid this, essentially. Um, and I'd like to take you through those options right now. So the first option that clients have available to them is what we call an arrangement. So it's to pay back the arrears over a period of time. Now this is great if, say, your circumstances have changed for the better recently. So you got into trouble, uh, but now you've got a new job, or you come into some money, or your unexpected expenses have passed. So you can catch up the missed payments over a period of time. The second option we have available to clients is something we call a restructure where we take the remaining debt and we restructure it over a longer term. And that typically reduces an instalment by 10% uh, or 20%. So somebody who used to pay uh, 2,000 rand a month now has to pay 1,800 rand a month. So it helps if your finances are tight, but it doesn't really help if you're in a really big sort of problematic situation. Now, if your situation is pretty bad and you're either very over indebted um, or you're, you're unemployed and you don't have any income, you've got to make some tough choices. The one option available to you is to go into debt counselling, and this is where somebody looks at your total exposure to all at, at all the people that you owe money to, and will negotiate on your behalf to reduce your instalments over a period of time so that you can catch up again. This is a good option if you have income, if you have a regular income so that you can afford to pay back those debts. If you don't have a regular income, you need to do something different, and that's typically where you've got to make the tough decision to typically sell your house so that you can get a fresh start. Now there are a couple of ways of doing this. One of them is through what we call the assisted sales process. Uh, we help you sell your property through an estate agent. So you'll sign a mandate with us, we pass on your details to an estate agent, they then try and sell your house. Now we usually find that the prices we can get are less than you expect. You know, um, And so what we do there is if there's any difference between what you owe us after the sale and what you get for the property, so that the shortfall, we'll find a way of restructuring that and forgiving some of it so that you can pay us back what you can afford but also get a fresh start so move into a new home typically renting or with family but it's it's a tough process but it's far better than the foreclosure process I described earlier. The other option in this process you can sell the house yourself um, we don't stop the process that we're following um, but if you can find a buyer at the price you want that's great we'll then allow the sale to go through.